Hey guys, it's Fixit Freddy back with another plumbing puzzle. Today, we're tackling that crusty, sticky mess the culprit lurks in your faucet tip, installing a PEX faucet supply line. Don't let the fancy name fool you, this little gizmo. Cleaning and cleanliness of your kitchen faucet plays a big role. But when it's off, things can get, well, messy. Don't worry though, because in this video, we break down everything you need to know removing and refreshing your Installing a PEX faucet supply line, no matter the brand or grime. Installing a PEX faucet supply line is a straightforward process that can be done with basic plumbing tools and knowledge. With the right materials and careful execution, you can successfully connect your faucet to the water supply using PEX piping. This guide will walk you through the steps involved in this installation process. Tools and materials you'll need. PEX faucet supply line typically sold in pre-cut lengths with fittings, attached, adjustable wrench or PEX cinch clamp tool depending on the type of fittings, pipe cutter or utility knife, Teflon tape or thread sealant if necessary, towel or rag. Step-by-step -step guide. Shut off the water, locate the shut-off valves under the sink and turn them clockwise to shut off the water supply. If there are no shut-off valves, you may need to turn off the main water supply to the house. Remove the old supply line if applicable. Use an adjustable wrench to disconnect the old supply line from the shut-off valve and the faucet. If the connections are tight, you may need to use penetrating oil to loosen them. Place a towel or rag under the connections to catch any residual water. Measure and cut the PEX tubing. Measure the distance between the Shut off valve and the faucet to determine the length of PEX tubing. Needed, use a pipe cutter or utility knife to cut the PEX tubing to the appropriate length. Install the fittings. If the PEX tubing comes with attached fittings, you can skip this step. Otherwise, insert a PEX fitting onto each end of the tubing. Make sure the fittings are the correct size for the tubing and securely seated. Connect the supply line, slide a PEX cinch clamp over the end of the tubing, then insert the tubing onto the shut-off valve or faucet fitting. Position the clamp over the barb of the fitting, leaving a small gap between the end of the tubing and the fitting. Use a PEX cinch clamp tool to compress the clamp and secure the connection. Repeat this process for the other end of the tubing. Turn on the water supply. Once the PEX supply line is securely connected, turn the water supply back on and check for any leaks. If you notice any leaks, tighten the connections further. Test the faucet, turn on the faucet and check for proper water flow and pressure. Make sure there are no leaks around the connections. Clean up, wipe down any excess water and tidy up the area under the sink. By following these steps, you should be able to successfully install a PEX faucet supply line. If you're unsure about any step or encounter difficulties, it's always a good idea to consult a professional plumber for assistance. Well, that's a wrap for today's tutorial on installing a PEX faucet supply line. Remember, maintaining your faucet not only improves the water quality but also extends the life of your plumbing fixtures. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and share it with your friends. For more DIY tips and tricks,